Now on Coast TV News. Much needed rain across Delmarva bringing relief, but we are not out of the woods yet. Hundreds of flags representing the heroes of our nation on this Veterans Day, what it means to those who serve. Medical marijuana, how one company is working to provide vets with what they call holistic healing. And will the half inch of rain that we receive, generally speaking, be enough to heal our land and get us out of this drought situation? I'll let you know coming up. This is Coast TV News at 5. Plants thankful for some much needed rain. Good evening. I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Christina DiRobertis in for Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with the month and a half stretch of no rain finally coming to an end. It took 44 consecutive days before we saw any type of rain in our area. And as Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappé shows us, this morning's rain was so important. And he shows us the changes it brings to our current drought. Puddles across Delmarva. That's something you may have seen after Monday morning's rain, officially breaking the 44-day streak of no rain across Delmarva. Chantal Bouchard, the operations manager for the Inland Bays Garden Center, says the rain helped them significantly. It's been difficult here at the Garden Center because plants and pots will require a lot more attention and, of course, a lot more watering. So uh, the rain was definitely godsend for us uh, down here at Inland Bays. Inland Bays has hundreds of different plants, and they have to make sure that each and every one is cared for. From watering them with a sprinkler or a hose, preparing them for winter by moving certain plants, and putting blankets over some to help keep them warm. With rain finally coming down, they're hopeful less plants have to go to the emergency room, where plants are taken care of if they are in need of help. But the drought is not over yet. I spoke with the Worcester County Fire Marshal, who told Coast CV that the burn ban will most likely stay in effect until more rain comes down, saying that fires can still easily start. Everyone is hopeful that more rain will come to fall. Something Bouchard says would be great for the plants. We are hoping to get more rain. Uh, it was great to have it, but it would be nice to kind of have it a little more regularly so that our plants could, you know, be a little bit better. But despite the rain, we technically are still in a drought. An updated advisory could officially end the drought come Thursday. I'm Kevin Zippe in Frankfurt, Coast TV News. And we're going to go ahead and take a live look now outside into the Lewis area. Let's check in with our First Alert Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams uh, for a look at the forecast. Good evening, Paul. Good evening. You know, I remember a story that I was taught when I was a kid. 40 days and 40 nights of rain caused a big time flood. Well, 44 days of drought caused the exact opposite for us. But I mean, we, we can take a look even in, in Dover. Look at how brown everything is. That's way ahead of schedule for us. Now, we had uh, nearly a half an inch official site for us in Ocean City, over a quarter of the inch for us in Salisbury, and a little bit more actually officially in Georgetown. But we are still in the midst of a severe drought. It's updated every Thursday, as Kevin mentioned in his package previously to us. But as we continue to serve for rain for this month, we can finally tabulate some things. Officially, we only received just over a quarter of an inch of rain for us, so we're still nearly an inch shy for us. And then when you take a look at what's happening for the entire year, we're still seven and a half shy. So yeah, the drought's not quite over, but at least it's not quite as bad, Christina. Thank you, Paul. Well, on this Veterans Day, there are nearly 18 million Americans who have served in the military. And determining what happens after their service can be a challenge. As Mary Bell Gonzalez shows us, that's why there's a special push this week to help veterans find what's next. I'm Pat Montgomery, former member of First Ranger Battalion and owner and founder of Casey Cab Company. A world away from the battlefield, Patrick Montgomery found his next mission in a Missouri cattle field. I am a huge believer that entrepreneurship is a great fit for the veteran community. He launched a specialty beef company, but after a rave review from Food & Wine magazine, the company went from 20 orders a week to 12,000 in 24 hours. You need funding to go make that growth happen. Montgomery turned to the Small Business Administration's program for veterans to help build up his company. That's where we, we come in. We help with the mentoring, we help with the training, uh, and we stay with them. The Federal Office of Advocacy's most recent numbers from the U.S. Census show more than 1.6 million veteran-owned businesses in the country, with nearly $1 trillion in annual sales, employing about three and a quarter million people. The American economy is driven by small businesses. 
Uh, so the more veterans and military spouses we can get into entrepreneurship, starting their business is a big win for our economy. 30 percent of veteran-owned businesses employ fewer than 20 people. KC Cattle Company has 12. Its website says, quote, the military taught them values they deliver to your plate. Patrick Montgomery says if he can do it, any veteran can. There's something out there post-military service that can provide that same fulfillment and the same brotherhood and camaraderie that you miss. Happy Veterans Day, y'all. I'm Mary Bell Gonzalez, reporting. During the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, the Flags for Heroes ceremony in Lewis paid tribute to those who have served. The display outside Cape Penlopen High School has 500 flags to honor our nation's heroes. The ceremony is put together by the Lewis Rehoboth Beach Rotary Club. Each flag has a medallion that can be bought for $50 to honor a hero or multiple. It's very important because uh, we have so many veterans who were a lot less fortunate than I was, uh, who are still suffering from mental and physical distress. Now, if you drive by the display at night, all those flags are lit up for the community to enjoy. People honor veterans in a number of ways, and for the cannabis company, providing access to medical marijuana is how they honor our service members. The company hosted a donation drive campaign with all proceeds going to Weed for Warriors. Carrie Stan says it's an important step in healing our vets. As you know, the daughter of a Vietnam Marine veteran, um, my grandfather was a World War II veteran. Um, I've seen the, the difference that, that it makes firsthand um, within my own family. To learn more about this campaign called Weed for Warriors, you can visit our website, coasttv.com. Also today, President Biden and Vice President Harris took part in a Veterans Day wreath laying ceremony at Arlington National Cemetery this morning. President Biden led the delegation into today's ceremony. He then placed a wreath with full military honors at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The president then delivered remarks to the gathered crowd at the Memorial Amphitheater in Arlington National Cemetery, paying tribute on this Veterans Day to the men and women who have served and continue to serve in the nation's armed forces. For all the military families, to all those with a loved one still missing or unaccounted for, to all Americans, Grieving the loss of a loved one who wore the uniform, Jill and I want you to know we see you, we thank you, and we'll never stop working to meet our sacred obligation to you and your families. This brings us right into our Coast TV poll. We want to know, how do you honor veterans? Let's take a look at the results so far. 47% say they post gratitude online, 27% say spend time with veterans, 13% say donate, and 13% say attend a ceremony like we saw some of them today. Yep, and if you haven't voted yet, you can still do that on CoastTVNews.com or use our mobile app. And from all of us here at Coast TV News, to all of our veteran viewers and those who serve our country, thank you for your service. Our country is beautiful because of you. Happening right now, the right northbound lane of the Indian River Inlet Bridge going to be closed for a month. Let's take a look from above from our coast copter. This is for the installation of sheet pile work. Now that's all related to ongoing erosion and inlet repair projects. In Ocean City, the Route 90 bridge is undergoing some inspections. On Tuesday, crews are focusing on the Assawoman Bay Bridge near Ocean City and today crews worked on the bridge over the St. Martin River. Work hours are from 9 to 5. Drivers are asked to take Route 50 if possible. Still to come tonight, uncovering the loopholes that could let kids bypass online regulations to buy e-cigarettes. And our much needed showers arrive, but will it be enough to make a real impact? I'll explain what I mean by that when we return. But first, a brand new building after more than a year of construction. Ocean City's new firehouse fully operational, up next. Not happy with your home's builder grade gas fireplace? Let Shagrin Home Comfort Products upgrade your fireplace with a new one from Mendota, Regency, or Cozy Heat. These gas fireplaces add both warmth and aesthetic to your home. 
Shagrin has plenty of different styles and sizes to choose from. What are you waiting for? Start your fall fireplace project now before it's too late. Stop in one of our local showrooms or give us a call at 302-644-7700 to see how Shagrin Home Comfort products can warm up your home. Good night, girls. Good night, Dad. Come on, let's go. Are you ready to sew some carpet? An LVP. Okay, I'm ready. What about my clothes? Let's do it. We have tons of carpet that's really nice. We have cash and carry LVP as low as $1.99. I'll take both. Maybe you girls are ready. Wait, was that a dream? Matt the Carpet Guy, a flooring of your dreams done right. Hi. I'm Delaware Insurance Commissioner Trinidad Navarro. Making decisions about your Medicare coverage can be difficult. So, the Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau is here to help. Thousands of Delawareans with Medicare come to us for free one-on-one -on -one assistance with navigating the complex and confusing insurance system. We can help you too. Call our Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau at 302-674-7364 today. Act fast. It's an extreme internet deal. Low prices, high speeds, and big bonuses. Switch now and get Internet 250 for $19.99 a month for a year. Experience download speeds up to 250 meg. Plus, get our advanced Wi-Fi with Eurosecure, free for a year. A free Zumo stream box for all your entertainment needs. And a $100 Amazon.com gift card. Level up your internet. Hurry, call 844-EXTREME2 to save. This is Coast TV News at 5. There's nothing like some new digs. Firefighters in Ocean City, they now have a brand new firehouse in town. Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappay shows us the critical features inside this station. Bit by bit, brick by brick, the new firehouse in Ocean City has opened its doors and is now a key part of emergency services along the coast. And Fire Chief Richard Bowers couldn't be happier. From start to finish, and, and now that we're occupying it, it far exceeded any expectation I had. It met everything it needed to meet, but it even exceeded those expectations. So couldn't be any happier. Coast TV got an exclusive walkthrough of the building. So let's take a look at the highlights. Inside, there is a lounge area, bunk rooms, training area, a kitchen with one heck of a view as it's connected to a balcony overlooking Ocean City, loads of storage space, the largest fitness room currently in any firehouse within the town, and then there's this, a decontamination sweep. It washes off all those chemicals that firefighters encounter out on a call. And here's why that's so important. It plays a big role in protecting firefighters from health risks like cancer. So we want to do everything we can to prevent that. And this is one of the things that we have done. It hooks to the exhaust so that when the unit gets started up, it captures it and then it filters it out and exhausts it out. The new building won't stop fires from happening, but hopefully it will make the department more equipped to handle them when they do, and to keep emergency workers safe when they get home. That was Kevin Zappay reporting the new firehouse is on 65th Street and Coastal Highway. And Chief Bowers told Coast TV he's hopeful that the response times for emergencies will be even faster than what they are now. You take a look at what's happening with the Bay forecast. We have a cold front that's pushing through. It's going to bring in much cooler air. But the big question is, have we received enough rain to make an impact on our drought situation? Your full forecast is coming right up. Right now, pet dander, skin cells, mold spores, pollen, and dirt are being sucked into your air ducts. Get cleaner air and system efficiency now with Stanley Stamer. For over 75 years, we've continually engineered our equipment and processes to deep clean your entire home. Your air ducts aren't clean until they're Stanley Steamer clean. No strangers here, just friends you haven't met yet. With comfortable outdoor seating and an authentic Irish bar, Irish Eyes in Milton is a local favorite by the Broad Kill River. Irish Eyes in Lewis with ample free parking, a gorgeous waterfront patio, extensive menu favorites, and the best happy hour on the water. Book our Lewis room for all of life's celebrations. With a lovely panoramic view, in-house chef, and a professional team to make your next event one to remember. Find out more at irisheyespub.com. A legacy 
is earned. Built on years of trust and reliability. To build the best vehicles with the best value. Right now, get a Tundra with low 1.99% APR. Toyota, let's go places. An official message from Medicare. I usually love plot twist, but this year I'm comparing my options during Medicare open enrollment. You don't want any surprises. You can't assume your current health or drug plan is the best one for you. And make sure your prescriptions are covered. <laughs> That's important. And save some money. Paperbacks and saving bucks? I like that. <laughs> Review your coverage and compare your health options at Medicare.gov. Open enrollment ends December 7th. Paid for by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. At All Mobility, we keep you moving. Whether it's wheelchair accessible vans, scooters, home ramps, or lift chairs, we've got the perfect mobility solution for you. Our experts will help customize options to fit your needs and lifestyle so you can stay independent and active. Scooters, ramps, vans, and more. Get moving with All Mobility. Come see us today or schedule a home consultation. AllMobilityStore.com. Listen to Coast Country 103.9 and 106.3. We're Delmarva Proud. Because we haven't seen rain in 44 days, the ground acted like a big, gigantic, dry sponge and sucked up every bit of rain we experienced overnight and early this morning. But now the question is, will it make an impact because we've been in a severe drought situation? You see, our Irish eyes camera in Lewis indicating that, hey, we're looking at clear skies for right now and the winds are not coming out of the north. So look for a much cooler feel to the air. So 44 days without rainfall, the official status will be updated on Thursday. Uh, but keep in mind, very cold conditions expected to kick in with the winds coming out of the north and the temperature is going to drop. It's going to feel like frost or freezing soon. But even with the rain we've experienced, remember the fire danger is still looming, especially for Tuesday. Outdoor burning is strongly discouraged. We received just shy of a half inch of rain in Ocean City. 0.44 for us in uh, Salisbury. Now we received more than a tenth of an inch, but the cycling on how we measure the rain is like five o'clock in the afternoon. So that's why I went into more detail to give you better numbers. Nearly three quarters of an inch of rainforest in Laurel, over a half an inch in places like Del Mar, Lewis, Millsboro, Ellendale, and Dagsboro. So everybody got a decent dousing of rain there. Indian River Inlet, Georgetown, over a half an inch of, you know, that we've measured for us in Georgetown, Bethany Beach, uh, Harbison, Slaughter Beach, as well as Rehoboth Beach. So everybody got their fair share of a half an inch of rain to about three quarters of an inch of rain within that range. But we were in the midst of a severe drought, not just moderate, but severe because of the 44 days waning. And even as you take a look at the next five days, for example, we're looking dry for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We have a shot at some showers on Friday, but then we're going back to the same old dry stuff by the time we get to Saturday. Then you add the winds. We have a small craft advisory looking for 25 mile per hour winds along the coast from Lewis all the way down towards Ocean Pines, even over towards Cambridge and Castlehaven. So we're talking about 25 mile per hour winds on top of the dryness that's already been well stated. Cooler air coming out of the north, courtesy of the cold front. So that combination is going to make it a bit tricky for us to deal with. The winds are going to be a problem. 31 mile per hour wind gusts were recorded today in Ocean City and in Georgetown. And as you take a look at the future gusts, we go into Tuesday. We're watching out for 32 mile per hour winds to pick back up again for Tuesday. Temperatures right now in the 60s. And as you take a look at our expectations for Wednesday morning, we start off in the upper 30s and we're only going to end up in the 50s. Take a look at this. We start off in the 30s for Wednesday afternoon and we go to 51 best case scenario in the afternoon. So we're looking for much cooler conditions. Finally, here's a look at your Paul Davis Restoration Home Remodel Extended Forecast. We're looking at big time cold Wednesday morning and Thursday morning, and we'll thaw out a bit by the weekend. Thank you. In regional news, the Lambda Society at Salisbury University hosted a vigil and unity walk for nonviolence on campus today. Here's the scene from above from our Coast Copter. You can see the students and community gathered on campus. This event follows the alleged assault and hate crime incident that took place in October at an off-campus apartment complex. At least 12 students are now charged in that investigation. 
Coming up tonight on the Delmarva Sports Network at 6.30, it's Stellar Fights 64. Post time is at 10, followed by the final score. Coming up, the feds have cut interest rates, but why mortgage rates remain high across the U.S. That story's up next here on Coast TV News at 5. Christmas is around the corner. Let Paul Davis check that deck project off your list and get a free fire pit. We'll bring the showroom to you, take measurements, and give you an estimate that day. Our AZAC composite decking looks amazing, won't fade or rot, and is maintenance free with a lifetime warranty. From design to permitting and building, we're with you every step of the way. Take 20% off your deck project, get a free gas fire pit, and pay as little as $100 per month. Call today. Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling. Weather is sponsored by Paul Davis Restoration, your storm damage experts, here to help now. Find Veterans Day savings you won't forget. Through Monday at Johnny Janosik, get the area's guaranteed lowest prices. Then choose 0% APR for three years or take an extra 15% off for cash. Ends Monday at Johnny Janosik. Get ready, Delmarva. Excitement and incredible savings have arrived at Gateway Subaru. Save up to $3,200 on a new 2025 Subaru Outback with financing rates as low as 1.9% for 48 months. Or save up to $2,300 off a new 2024 Subaru Crosstrek with financing rates as low as 1.9% for 48 months. And be among the first to drive the all-new 2025 Subaru Forester. Stop in and reserve yours today. Gateway Subaru, just minutes from the beaches in the heart of Delmarva. Higher standards. James left his home in Maryland and was driving to work in Dover. Carol left her home in Philadelphia and was driving to a party in Dover. When their paths crossed, Carol ran a red light and crashed into James. He was seriously injured and needed a lawyer, but did he need a Maryland lawyer, a Delaware lawyer, a Philly lawyer? Luckily, James knew who to call. With offices in Pennsylvania, Delaware, and Maryland, we have the right attorney for your personal injury case. Tip the scales of justice in your favor. Call Schwartz & Schwartz today. Find Veterans Day savings you won't forget. Through Monday at Johnny Janosik, get the area's guaranteed lowest prices. Then choose 0% APR for three years or take an extra 15% off for cash. Ends Monday at Johnny Janosik. Dad, I need your help. I am in over my head with this house. I've got buckling floors, doors that won't close, sick kids, and a frustrated wife. Did you call DryZone? No, I called the cheaper guys. You've got to call DryZone. They're the oldest and the best. Just like you, Dad. Protect your largest investment with Delmarva's local choice. DryZone, the oldest and the best. Brought to you by DryZone, your local crawlspace experts. The cost to borrow money has gone down slightly. The Federal Reserve approving a lower interest rate by a quarter point last week. But as Jen Sullivan shows us, mortgage rates, they remain high. The explanation right now in tonight's Consumer Watch. The Federal Reserve announcing last week to cut the benchmark federal funds rate by a quarter point, lowering borrowing costs for banks to four and a half to four and three quarters percent. We are committed to maintaining our economy's strength by supporting maximum employment and returning inflation to our 2% goal. The move will lower interest rates for things like credit cards, car loans, and other debt. But the one borrowing cost that hasn't gone down are mortgage rates. In fact, 30-year fixed mortgage rates inched up last week to 6.79%, according to Freddie Mac. Mortgage rate hit 20-year high. So with higher rates, why are prices staying high? Lawrence Yoon, the chief economist with the National Association of Realtors, says there's a lack of inventory. Fewer homes on the market means higher prices and more competition. Home prices hitting new record highs with each passing month. And this is simply due to the fact that we have a housing shortage. High costs are also hurting the housing market. The median home sale price last month was $418,700. That's more than 3% higher than last year, according to the NAR. It's frustrating to see that, uh, but uh, it's not surprising. It's especially frustrating for people trying to buy their first home. Only 24% of housing sales last month were first-time home buyers. But Yoon predicts some good news for buyers. I think the new normal for mortgage rate could be something closer to 6%. For Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. 
right now, the White House is racing to dole out remaining funds from key legislation President Biden signed before President-elect Trump takes office. That includes allocating grants for climate initiatives and surging available money and weapons to Ukraine. The implementation efforts reflect one slice of how the Biden administration is working to shore up key initiatives with the second Trump presidency just 10 weeks away. A new study is highlighting loopholes that could let kids bypass online regulations to buy e-cigarettes. You have to be 21 to buy tobacco products, and retailers are required to verify with photo IDs, even scanning that. But listen to this. Researchers found among 105 deliveries, workers scanned the package receiver's ID only one time. Plus, 78% of the products were delivered with just no interaction at all. Coming up next, it's starting to look a lot like Christmas in New York City. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. We believe that a great community health system reflects the community it serves. And like Sussex County itself, we've been on an exciting journey of growth and transformation, evolving from a trusted community hospital to the region's premier healthcare provider and Sussex County's most comprehensive health system. We're proud to be on this journey together, miles ahead, but by your side the entire way. Because Sussex County is our specialty. Foul odors, discolored water, are you running out of hot water more quickly? These are all signs of sediment buildup in your water heater. And as the buildup becomes more severe, it can even cause a premature tank failure. Flushing the tank periodically can prevent these problems. FH Fur has you covered. Get a water heater flush for $49. That's right, a complete water heater flush for only $49. Act now and get a plumbing inspection free. 877-CALL-FUR FHFur.com Be charmed by Lewis. Visit our unique shops and restaurants. Lewis Gourmet and Puzzles. 30 years supporting the community. Eat extraordinary with local and global specialty foods and inspire your brain with jigsaws and more. Make the season sparkle with fresh blooms from floral inspirations. We've got plants, festive decor, and a gift for everyone. Come, Come in for, for the, the smell of it. Harbor Restaurant for Canal Front Dining. Great waterfront views and fabulous food in downtown Lewis. Lots to do and see. In Lewis. When you're close to the land and the sea, you can taste the goodness. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market brings farms closer to tables. Meet the growers, talk to the people that milk the cows and pick the perfect apples, organically grown fruits and vegetables, sustainable meats and eggs, artisan breads, and fresh local seafood. The historic Lewis Farmer's Market is now in the Lewis Elementary School parking lot on Savannah Road every Saturday from 9 to noon. At Matt the Carpet Guy, we take our work seriously. That's why we employ the best of the best. To ensure you find exactly what you're looking for. With a warehouse big enough to keep everything in stock. And a showroom we can bring to you. The hardworking team at Matt the Carpet Guy brings affordable flooring within reach. We have cash and carry LVP starting at $1.99. Perfectly installed every time. Matt the Carpet Guy, flooring done right, the family way. Coming up new tonight on Coast TV News at 6, crews continue to work on the Millsboro Bypass, current closures and delays to plan ahead for. Well, work is well underway to decorate the iconic Christmas tree that will be on display at Rockefeller Center. That tree is hiding behind all that scaffolding you can see there. The tree was installed in, on the plaza Saturday, and that scaffolding, it's around a 74-foot-tall Norway spruce. For the official lighting on December 4th, the tree will be dressed with 50,000 multicolored lights, five miles of wires, and capped with a 900-pound star. Yeah, and beautiful as that is, can't match this. This is beautiful all by his lonesome. Our gutter helmet camera in Ocean View showing us we're going to be in the 60s. Winds are going to pick up primarily out of the north. We're still in the midst of a severe drought, although we've had a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of rain that's already fallen. Our umbrella giveaway winner, Dave Hefline, congratulations. Keep up with your forecast by calling our weather line, sponsored by our Bader Mandalas, Brockstead, and Federico. And here's a look at your exclusive 10 day forecast. Paul, thank you, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news and local weather, you can download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we'll see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6 p.m. Have a great evening.